All right, so in this video here, we are looking at exploring Pythagoras' theorem. So you probably saw this theorem in year nine, um, right at the very start, so you may have forgotten it might be a little bit old for you. Uh, Pythagoras' theorem is a theorem that applies to right angle triangles. So if you've got a right angle triangle, just sketch one up here. Uh, and the rule says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And that is a theorem you'll need to know off by heart. You're going to see it time and time and time again. So if you're taking notes, I'll definitely be taking note of that one there. In terms of our triangle, in terms of labeling it, what we're dealing with here, A, B, and C, these three are all sides. Okay, so our rule here, Pythagoras' theorem is linking three sides together. And it is important that you get the sides correct. If you get the sides wrong, this whole thing falls apart very quickly. Really what's important is that you get the side C correct, this one here that's by itself. C is this side here opposite the right angle. Okay, and that C has a special name, we call that the hypotenuse. And for a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. It's always opposite the right angle. So if you see the right angle, you should identify the hypotenuse straight away. Um, that C there, the hypotenuse. From there, the last two sides, A and B, doesn't really matter which one is which. So A and B, as long as they're the shorter sides, whack in an A and B there to get that out. Okay, so there what we're saying is, uh, if you have A squared plus B squared, you do get C squared, A and B those two shorter signs there. Make sure you get it correct when you're putting into your theorem. Very common mistake. Okay, so let's take a look at an example quickly. Um, so exploring is really just taking it, naming things. I'll leave that there actually. So if I have a triangle like this, again a very crooked right angle triangle, you should be able to tell me what the hypotenuse is if I call this um, x, y, and Z, what side do you think is the hypotenuse? Well, we've got our right angle here. So that's our right angle, our hypotenuse opposite that. Z here is our hypotenuse. In terms of using our theorem then, well, our theorem always says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if you want, you could relabel this as being C. Okay, from there, A and B don't matter. Taking another example, so let's go down a little bit. If I've got another right angle triangle, let's say this one in here. Oof, not drawing very straight today. Uh, if we have sides of um, P, Q, and R, working out which one is our hypotenuse, right angles there, this is our hypotenuse here. And again, we can label that as being C. C is always the hypotenuse. That means this can be A and this can be B. So in terms of writing out Pythagoras' theorem, we normally say that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So in terms of the letters we're using here, um, A will be the same as R. So I'm going to say this is R squared plus B squared. B is Q. Q squared there, A and R together, B and Q. Lastly, C, C and P are the same here. So this is equal to P squared in there. And we can do that with numbers as well. So if you grab an example, it does use a few numbers. Let's take um, this one here. Nice looking triangle there. So if we have numbers 3, 4, and 5 here, firstly, working out what is going to be my hypotenuse. You should be able to spot it. My hypotenuse is going to be this 5 in here. So I can label that as being C. A and B don't matter so much. So applying my Pythagoras' theorem, it says that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I'll write it out pretty much every time I'm doing a Pythagoras question. Replacing with what we've got, A first, 
a is going to be 4 here, so I'm saying 4 squared plus b squared, b is 3, so 4 squared plus 3 squared equals c squared, c is 5 here, so 5 squared. Okay, and later on I'll do a bit of working with that. Um, yeah, for now, just writing it out should be fine. Just to show you that it works, by the way, if I do, do cut this in two, this first side here and this second side here, my first side, um, 4 squared, if you jump on a calculator, that's going to be 16. 3 squared, 3 by 3, 3 times 3 is 9. And 16 plus 9 is 25. On my other side here, 5 squared, calculator, or just 5 times 5. Uh, 5 times 5, I think you'll find, is also 25. So my rule does work nicely on this triangle. What's important, your main points, uh, just going back over quickly, Pythagoras theorem will always say a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, And from here, c is the hypotenuse. And to get your hypotenuse out, a and b are the two remaining sides. Given a triangle, label your hypotenuse first, call it c, a and b, whack those in too. Okay? And then just, it's just a matter of relabeling things as you go. Okay, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.